Вон, ребята, горит. Седьмой прилет. Да, да, да. Это седьмой дрон сейчас прилетел. Полетел дрон. Блять. Блять. Пиздец. Chinese leader humiliated French president in meeting with Ursula von der Leyen. The president of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, ignored a humiliated French president Emmanuel Macron during a tripartite meeting with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in Paris. The leader of the French Patriots Party, Florian Philippot, wrote on X, Xi Jinping's state visit to France, Macron humiliated and ridiculed. He shows his submission by inviting Ursula von der Leyen. The Chinese president identifies the real boss, talks to her more and ends up neglecting Macron. Philippot stated, when the leaders of France and the European Commission met Chinese President Xi Jinping for talks on the Elysee Palace in Paris, they had a strong message for him. Beijing must reduce its support for Moscow. As Russia makes gains in its invasion of Ukraine, Emmanuel Macron and Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen told the Chinese leader that he needs to do more to curtail the transfer of dual-use materials to Moscow that are finding their way onto the battlefield. Given the existential nature of the threats stemming from this war for both Ukraine and Europe, this does not affect EU-China relations, said von der Leyen following a trilateral meeting with Xi, who is on his first state visit to Europe in five years. We count on China to use all its influence on Russia to end Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, von der Leyen said. But while Xi reiterated Beijing's commitment to not sell arms to Russia, he bristled at Western criticism saying that China did not start the war, nor is it a party to or participant in it. He also rejected what he described as attempts to use the Ukraine crisis to scapegoat or smear a third country or to stoke a new Cold War. Instead, the Chinese leader urged France to uphold independence and jointly prevent bloc confrontation as the two countries celebrate the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties this year. The two sides should take a long view and work together for an equal and orderly multipolar world, she said calling on Paris to oppose decoupling, cutting off supply chains or erecting walls and barriers. Is preparing a new drone disaster for Russia? New surprises await the Russians. Ukraine has caught up with the Russian Federation in the production of kamikaze drones similar to the Shahed-131 and Shahed-136. German Smetanin, general director of the Ukrainian defense industry joint stock company, spoke about this in an interview with Army Inform. We have already signed a number of contracts with private manufacturers. This mainly concerns licensed production. So, in particular, we are talking about the production of drones. Private enterprises cannot provide the required quantity, so we sign a licensing agreement and our enterprises are involved in production, said the leader. According to him, this has already yielded certain results. In particular, in 2024, Ukraine caught up with Russia in the production of kamikaze drones similar to the Shahed-131 and Shahed-136, as well as in the production of other attack drones. What explodes in Russia is all ours, said Alexander Kamishin, Minister of Strategic Industries. And this is a fact. Smetanin emphasized. According to him, work on cooperation with private companies is currently ongoing. In addition, a very large number of private development enterprises and scientists have been involved in the development of new types of weapons. There are developments that are more innovative and suited to tomorrow. We urgently need to increase production, so we are entering into cooperation with these manufacturers and thus ensuring the supply of necessary weapons to the armed forces of Ukraine, added the general director. Russian occupiers are very afraid of the heavy Ukrainian drone bomber, which they themselves nicknamed Baba Yaga. Unlike other drones, Baba Yaga is absolutely insensitive to electronic interference. Large drones are too easy targets even for small arms during the day. 
That is why the only opportunity to attract heavy drone bombers is at night when they are not visible to the naked eye. It has a loud engine sound, the roar of the propellers is similar to the screech of a chainsaw and makes a depressing impression on the occupiers.